uh, to the left hand side so Livingston are attacking the shopping centre end and Rovers are attacking the car park end well, actually the teams take the knee rather than just kind of stand we've grown used to teams just kind of standing side by side as I say there might be a bit of a disconnect between Neil and I given the distances between us but the ball's immediately played high and long and in there and that's an early touch for Kyle Benedictus both teams have looked like they're coming out of the traps ready to go Wraith Rovers head to toe in white Livingston in that uh, I believe they call it Amber a quite exceptional ball what play else? through there for the hammer he's going to look to cut one back Almost makes its way through Kai Kennedy, a second chance and a second bite at the cherry, and that was a real chance. Wraith Rovers are looking for a corner. Dylan Tate felt the ball ricocheted off a Livingston player. Tell people up there. There's a driven ball there, and it's off the line. Great marking there from a Wraith Rovers perspective. I think playing a team in the division above us, a team that are flying in the division above us, in terms of uh, what we'll face recently. We know we're going to have to ride a few scares this afternoon. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Frankie Masonda causing some problems up that left-hand side. We know he's got pace. Nice little bit of link. Oh, lovely ball out to oh, Jamie Cullen, edge of the box. He's going to shoot. Blocked, <laughs> throwing Wraith Rovers. I felt that. From yeah, here. we're getting into good <laughs> positions. That's got the old uh, mitre tattoo on the thigh there for the Livingston player. Edge of the box, Lewis Vaughan. That's Regan Hendry. Foul yeah, Wraith Rovers, edge of the box. I have to say that our inter interchanging play is causing problems for Livingston. Yeah, so far. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lewis Vaughan's over the ball as is Regan Hendry. Wonder if he'll go for that near post. The Kevin Cuthbert free kick as we call it. There's a shot. It is near post. That'll yes, be a goal. Get in there. That'll be Lewis Vaughan pulling off well the, the Brora Rangers esque um Bucky Thistle. Bucky Thistle it was, of <laughs> course. It was Bucky Thistle. We call it the Cuthbert move. Um eyes up to shape across the goal. Keeper thinks that that's where it's going. Keeper remains central. The ball's driven in just above head height into that near post. Livingston nil, Wraith Rovers 1. Scorer, Lewis Vaughan. There, what a ball there from Kai Kennedy to Jamie Cullen. Comes inside, has a shot. Good block. Second ball falls to a Livingston jersey. Wraith Rovers looking really, really menacing every time we go forward. Brilliant header from the skipper back in a defensive area. I'll tell you what, we'll look at every bit as rampant tonight as we did on Tuesday. Regan Tumulty, he's got his head up. Looking for an angle, he's going to have to take it for a dribble, he does, he's into the box, he cuts it across, keeper saves at the near post, and only a good intervention by Robbie McCrory stops his taking a second there. And one passage of play, the ball's back with McCrory in the Livingston box, he hits it to the halfway line. Oh, lovely header from Brad Spencer. <laughs> That's awesome. So casual, so collected, Regan Hendry's going toe-to-toe with the fullback here, he comes inside, it opens up, he has a shot, keeper saves it right down his neck, but... It's definitely the boys in white in the ascendancy. Yeah, one of those rare opportunities that we can actually hear the hear the referee there. It's never a foul, honestly, says uh, Bobby Madden. Uh, well, I had a better view than him and it was. That's my opinion. I, I think you get a foul for that nine times out of ten. Oh, it's taken quick. It's taken early. Manuel Thomas is in the box. Into the side netting. Oh, he's... Tracking all the way back as the centre forward following Brad Spencer. He looks like a burst couch. Lovely oh, diagonal. Nice. Looking at the linesman, it's on. It's the hammer. She comes inside, goes outside, drags the boy, cuts it across. Oh. Keeper saves it. Jamie Gullen's going to collect it again. A chance for Dylan Tate to get his head up. Is he going to play that in? He plays it diagonal. Nobody even close to that. Into the welcoming arms of Robbie McCrory. Triangle of passes there. Sees Brad Spencer back on our goal line there. All the way out to Tumulty. He's going to pirouette 180 degrees. Ooh, he takes a risk there. It's going to need Davidson. Oh, that should be a yellow card for a dive there. Davidson made connection there. There's an early ball played okay, through. Ball. There's a hammer in. He's got a chance to get a run on goal here. He's going to look to pull it back, I think. Edge of the box, Louis Vaughan. Oh, he uses him as a decoy and cuts it into Reagan Henry. Falls to Livingston player. Dylan Tate headers it all the way back in. Good defensive header helped on by Bartley. The football comes from Race Rovers and it's with Regan Tumulty. He's got Regan Henry outside of him. See when he come inside and dink one. He does. He goes near post. Out to Tumulty. A shot. Oh, a save. And that one was that one was headed to the corner of the net. But it was McCrory who touches it round the post. So maybe Neil a wee opportunity with the balls down that end to say that um if we do catch Ian Davidson after the game that we've, we've got plans in place to do a much longer feature in fact actually we're looking at a double feature with Ian 
um, that will take place over the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. oh, danger stuff from Forrest there, but he's but Davidson marshals him and, and Manuel Thomas, oh, brave, with a cute back heel, and Jay McDonald throws himself right in amongst the, the size tens and gathers that. Um, I think I've, uh, Thomas and Sybil. Sybil comes in field, spreads out to Longridge into the box invades a couple of challenges and off the line there Bartley keeps it alive Holt spreads it out to Fitzwater too close to Dylan Tate who's able to just play off Fitzwater and earns a throw in just to relieve the pressure on the Rovers defence so Henry goes short but he waves him away that's more of a decoy move on to the back post Benedictus heads it back into the six yard box Devlin heads clear Benedictus and Guthrie challenging but Libby gets away only as far as Dylan Tate really good skill by him to Hendry on the chest oh and a vicious volleyed drive from Hendry but wide of the target and McCrory just lets it fly past the post Devlin and Sibold Uh, cross in from Devlin and Benedictus went over and challenged him and both players injured themselves um, I think we're going to see physios on for this Davey yeah both players struggling there mm. Neil what was your view of the penalty claim there mm. what was your view of the penalty claim there I thought that was a strong one mm. yeah the Fitzwater Guthrie and Fitzwater exchange passes. Going to build an attack down the right hand side now. Devlin into Thomas. Turns. Takes a run on Benedictus. Squares it into the six yard box and just knocked wide of goal by the Olivier player. And a goal kick. A uh, decision that's being disputed. All square at Arbroath, one each. All square at Dunfermline, 0 0 in the league. Corner comes in. Back post. Headed back across. There's the equaliser. To Livingston. So it was Guthrie won it in the air. He knocked it down for the goal scorer who just stabbed it home. On the six yard line. Waiting for the announcement to confirm who it was that got it. It was it was Fitzwater got the Fitzwater got the goal there. there. So the two the two defenders, two centre defenders combined there to get the equaliser for Livingston. Brad Spencer in field to Dylan Tate. Brad Spencer competes well for the ball there with Pittman and it breaks for Ian Davidson. It's a wonderful challenge, Neil, isn't it? Yeah. Here comes the counter. Davidson's passing to set it by Sibold. And it comes and uh, the Fletnick. Oh, extravagantly curls it over the barman. We're going to have to ride the storm a little bit here, aren't we? I think so, yeah, yeah. Forgetting how young he is, he's moving towards his 50th game for Wraith Rovers. Lovely play from Gotze there, Regan Hendry, oh he plays the second touch a little bit heavy, it opened up there and it means that Sybold can rob possession from him, but Platnick to Sybold. Frankie's not going to get that, but Jamie McDonald does, the ball was driven to the near post, Jamie was down early, comes more central, Holt's the man who links, Sybold moves in front of him, a give, a go. Holt gets it back the aforementioned Mullen there's a Devlin out wide this is going to be a delivery it's flat it's to the near post and it's a goal kick Sybil spreads out to long range he's not going to cross it in he's going to go back the way to Guthrie Armstrong goes to close him down Guthrie into Devlin heads it on towards goal and Jamie McDonald gathers that confidently it is as far post quickly and confidently to gather that ball. Guthrie on the ball to Longridge. Dan Armstrong closest to him. Holt brought into play as he advances forward to Bartley over the halfway line. Down the channel. Devlin crossed in. 
and a goal to Livy and it's that man Popletnik so great run by uh, Devlin right to the touchline and crossed it in and two Livy players just standing there unmarked and Popletnik puts it in to put Livy 2-1 up And that is full time, so the Bobby Madden brings the, the match to a close. Livy 2, Ray Thorwell's 1 after extra time at the Tony Macaroni Arena.